Hey Crow, back again. I got a package in the mail today and it was from Audacity Games. If you see what's on the screen here, yes, I did get my copy of Circus Convoy. I did opt for the standard edition um, being $60. It was like $59.99. The Deluxe or Collector's Edition had a whole bunch of stuff in there, including like a, uh, a ROM file that you could play on emulators. But I just wanted to go with the standard. And I think I kind of explained this a little bit more because what I've already done is I've already filmed the unboxing part of this. And that's what we're gonna cut to shortly. So you're gonna see me unbox everything, what I got in the package from Audacity Games with the Circus Convoy. We'll go through everything, everything that was included in the box. We'll go kind of through, you know, not through the manual, but the nice documentation and everything. And then after that, we're gonna cut and uh, we're gonna play some of this just with the camera pointed right at the TV screen because that's really, I think, the best way to play these Atari 2600 games. I've got my console all set up and um, you're gonna see the unboxing. And of course, I'm gonna have timestamps everywhere in the video. So if you wanna skip around, I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video, but I could be playing this for a while. Maybe I'll edit that footage up, who knows? But uh, yeah, and if you do like the video, all I do is ask that you give it a thumbs up. So let's move on to the unboxing. All right, here we go. We got the box here. This is the box that came in. I was able to peel off the shipping label very easily so you can't see my address. So let's cut this open <laughs> and then take a look at this brand new Atari 2600 game. Ooh, I've been kind of looking forward to this, to be honest. All right, free gift enclosed is your thank you for being one of the first supporters of Audacity Games. I guess we'll have to see what this is. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you for your Audacity Games. Thank you for your support, Audacity Games. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, images of the first two games. I can't remember, Circus Convoy, I believe, is what's in here. And I don't remember what that game is gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna pick that up too when it comes on uh, sale. So we get this nice letter. Thank you for your support. Audacity Games is a brand new video game publisher dedicated to the retro game player, brought to you by David Crane, Dan Kitchen, and myself. The company is founded on the principles that led to the creation of companies like Activision and Absolute Entertainment. This is not homebrew or even a pro brew, but a premium or retro game publishing company created to bring you original games from the creators of some of your favorite cartridges from the golden era of gaming. These are not downloadable games, emulated games, or subscription games, but complete in the box physical uh, cartridges that play on retro game consoles. You can hold these cartridges in your hands and derive hours of enjoyment playing, collecting, and displaying them. Your support makes the creation of this new business possible. So as a thank you to one of our very first customers, we want to hit you to have this collectible patch. No more than 200 and 50 of these patches will be made and we want you to have one of them. Our goal was to move, our goal as we move forward is to grow, I'm sorry. Our goal as we move forward and grow is to include new creations from many of your favorite authors. If that idea appeals to you, be sure to reach out on social media to let the old masters know you are anxiously awaiting them to join us and get started on their next masterpiece. We are already working with them to get on board, but your encouragement might make the difference. Happy Gaming, Gary Kitchen, CEO, Audacity Games, Inc. So that's really, really cool. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to blank something out here, but yeah, maybe. So we will just put that up there and upside down so nobody can see it. But yeah, only 250 of these patches. So uh, I might just keep it inside of the box for uh, when we when we get there. Oh, look at this. So this feels a little bit sturdier than I was expecting. It's sturdier definitely than, I mean, it is inside the bubble wrap, but it just feels more solid than any Atari 2600 game case I've ever had. So this is pretty durable. Um, look at this. Wow, it's all shrink wrapped. Okay, maybe it is the same. I don't know, just brand spanking new circus convoy. And again, if I didn't mention it already in the, um, in the, in the video, I just wanted to get the uh, standard version over the collector's edition. I don't know, there's something that appealed to me more about getting 
just the standard everyday version because it just kind of reminds me of those original uh, games that I do have. Nothing special about it. That's kind of what I wanted. So on the back here, we got some screenshots of the game. All right, sorry for that cut, but I was interrupted. But let's continue with the back of the box here. We got run, jump, and even fly along the trucks while avoiding hazards. We got battle, the largest snake ever, held in captivity. <laughs> Conceived and designed by David Crane and Gary Kitchen for one daredevil at a time. Are you ready for adventure? Have you conquered your fear of clowns? Then join the Circus Convoy, the new Atari 2600 game from the world-renowned designers David Crane and Gary Kitchen. The Heartland Traveling Circus is on the move with a huge convoy of semis hauling down the highway. In Circus Convoy, you are Andre the Magnificent, resident strongman, a.k.a. the Chameleon. As the big top barrels, I'm sorry, as the big top barrels down the black top, <laughs> as the big time as the big time barrels barrel down the blacktop i like that andre learns that a rival has sabotaged their gear possibly scraping their next show andre springs into action because as everyone knows the show must go on using andre's strength agility and cunning to leap from truck to truck and fly from convoy to convoy to save the day but beware it's hard to tell friend from foe. So grab your joystick and popcorn and get ready for some old school retro fun. Circus Convoy features action and adventure gameplay with new and innovative Atari 2600 graphics. A variety of nostalgic sideshow mini games to challenge and surprise you. More than a dozen circus props to find and use with pop-up inventory panel. Dozens of adventure style puzzles to solve. Advanced QR code technology lets you register your game and submit your high scores. Use joystick controllers. All Audacity games, video game cartridges are covered by Audacity Games. Limited one year warranty. Details can be found at www.audacitygames.com slash warranty. Dogs walking around and kind of distracting me. <laughs> this Audacity video game cartridge may also be used with the Sears Telegames Video Arcade. So now that we've read like everything on the box, Let's open it. <laughs> Get that knife out. And um, how do we want to do this very carefully, I would assume. So, uh, yeah, because, you know, this is like, again, you know, we could buy homebrew Atari 2600 games right off of Atari age. But this is something entirely different. This is like buying an Activision game or an Absolute game. Okay. Kind of tight. Let's uh, let's cut it down here. There we go. Get that seal off. And I think there might be. Yeah, there's a little tab there. Let's cut that there, right down here. There we go. And let's open that up. That flap up. There we go. There we go. And let's see what we got in here. We got. Right in the, the the box here, you can see the Atari 2600 game cartridge right here. Circus Convoy, very reminiscent of those old Activision games, so that's really cool. We'll see if this suffers from Actiplac sometime in the future. Uh, hopefully, no. <laughs> hopefully, no. But this does seem like a very quality and glossy uh, label. So, and we pull out. That's everything that's in the box. Let's see what we got here. We got the instructions, and in the middle of the instructions, we have a warranty. We don't need to read the warranty. But yeah, full color instruction manual here. I don't need the knife anymore. <laughs> Circus Convoy instructions. So yeah, very, very, very cool. Uh, how to play the game. So maybe I'll take a look at this before I actually sit down and play it, which I will be doing on that uh, Tube TV, the old Zenith Space Command. So yeah, nice. Here we go. There's a quick look at the. Uh, oh look, there's a QR code there. So I guess if you get a, like a high score and stuff, you get a QR code on the screen to take a picture. That's pretty funny. That's pretty cool to see that. And then there we got tips from David Crane, tips from Gary Kitchen, and uh, join the Circus Convoy Club. So again, if you get a high score, you can uh, send in for the patch. Um, if you collect 40 or more stars, you'll gain entry. So you need 40 or more stars, whatever that means. Have not so played that at all. So, okay, there's the next game, Casey's Gold. Uh, available spring 2021. So that 
will be available sometime shortly, I assume, and I will definitely be in line for that one as well. So, enough of the unboxing. Let's take this game. I'm going to plug this into the Atari 2600. And uh, I'm going to have the, the camera just right in on the TV. We're going to record off the TV like we did in the old days and uh, <laughs> play some of this Circus Convoy. All right, we're all ready to go here. Got the TV on, got the Atari 2600 set up. Let's take out the Atari Creeps uh, cartridge cover and uh, pop in our copy of Circus Convoy. Pop that power on, and there we go. Let's adjust that a little bit. There we go. Nice. Nice little opening tune. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and we'll play some of this Circus Convoy. All right, before I actually begin, I actually took a look through the manual really quick. I didn't really find too much out, but I did find out that when you do uh, point the direction left here to register, it brings up a QR code. And when you uh, go to that QR code, it's actually registering your specific copy of this game uh, to Audacity Games. And that's what you do to actually get the patches or whatnot. And what, what hap winds up happening is as you're playing through the game, QR codes may pop up. And if you go to those QR codes, it actually takes you to a web address to tell you, uh, like to guide you through the game, I, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure if I actually want to show any of the QR codes since it is linked to this copy of the game. So if that ever comes up, I may blur the screen or something. So uh, we're just going to go. I already did do the register thing. It just took me right to the link. I, I logged into Audacity Games and uh, this copy is all registered with my serial number. So that's really cool. So I'm going to click uh, right here and play. The Chameleon appears in this game as Andre the Magi Magnificent. And I also like how <laughs> Audacity Games Copyright 2020 shows up in the corner, just like those old Activision's games did. So basically, uh, the Chameleon, I guess, is your player character, and the Chameleon will show up in other games as different characters. So let's um, just hit the button. There we go. Pushed up. So uh, select... Oh, so if you hit the select button at any time... You, it'll take you to a QR code that you could use to go to any... Um, oh, look at that. When he moves, the chameleon changes colors. So, uh, yeah, I guess that... Oh, I guess I can go this way. I don't know what I picked up, but uh, look at those birds. It reminds me of barnstorming. There's some gas fuel free. wonder if he could fall off the train. I guess not. He kind of stops before. Oh, if I push down, he kind of... He just kind of fell off there, but he can duck. Look at that. Three parachutes. This kind of reminds me of Pitfall a little bit, but on a train. I guess that's the end of the train. So I guess I was collecting some stuff. Look at that stuff on the bottom of the screen. That is a really cool effect there. This really feels cool. Oh, this is am it, it's It's amazing. I, I'll just say that. There's the chameleon. If I, I go down. Okay, so that just uh, tells me that. Bricks. I got some bricks. Brick a brick. Oh, I said. Oh, I, I hit down and a button, and it looks like I can um, use some of this stuff here. What? Can I use a bomb? I don't know if I used a bomb. So if I hold down and hit the button, I guess I can't use it. <laughs> it's all it's all ready to go, maybe. Huh. Okay. So that's the other end of the train? Nope. There we go. You may choose to unlock this item with a black key. Okay. I don't think I have a black key. Oh, look at that. It scrolls. I got stars. Two stars. Okay, so if I get 40 stars, collect or earn stars for high score. Oh, that's so cool. Look at what they did to this game. Click for status. Oh, look at that. There we go. We got two minutes, two of 80 stars, only 40 for the patch. Sideshows, zero of six, lives, five of seven. I guess maximum of seven lives. Quit. No, 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 no. Okay. So we don't have... Can we keep going this way? Yes, we can. Okay, so that's the, the start of the convoy. So now it's kind of like a... Um, maybe a puzzle game in a way to figure out what I need to do with the items I have. Oh, there's the black key. Okay. 
No, no, that was the key. So let's All right, I'm interrupting this video while I'm editing it because that was not the black key. And I spent a lot of time thinking that was the black key and what I actually picked up was something entirely different. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fast forward and just show the final game that I played while I was recording. And it'll give you a better idea of what this game is like. Burger. Mm. Binoculars. Mm. Mm. Can't go that way. Mm. And then there's, I don't have a key. And I can't go forward because I don't have anything that will let me do that. There's his home, there's a starting trailer, gas, fuel, whatever. Bombs, parachutes, and if we look at the binoculars, oh, this is where I need the brick wall. So let's break, build the brick wall. We can jump up and then we can get across. And then this is where we can use our parachute. There we go. Just one single button hit. Oh, oh, we could get over that too. Okay, cool. Gator Alley. I think we. This is a mini game. We have to hit a trigger for the key. How do I get that key? Because I don't think I can. Okay, this is what gave me trouble last time. Let's see if we can get. There we go. God, there we go. And then he gives me a gun. I love it. Jump across. All right. Jump across. Down. Across. Over. Hit that trigger. That opens up the duck chute. Hmm. Let's use the binoculars. I like that you can see the screen ahead of you by using binoculars. One up. Okay. So we got a one up. There we go. Did I not do that last time? I should be able to jump across without going back up. There we go. And then, oh, I should go up and get the bomb. But if I do that, well, let's not do that because I don't know how the hell to get back to the lower area. There we go. Shit. Oh crap. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at this. I'm. Can I just? No, I can't. I have to jump. Okay. There we go. That's how you would do it. Ah. Don't know why. I had like I couldn't do it there, so I have to go up. There we go. Okay. And then we could go in our duck shoot and maybe do a lot better. Which we're not doing already. So as soon as those ducks come back around, I need to come back up because there we go. Then the, one of the last ones I missed. Let's wait for that to come around. Oh, come on. Got it. Okay. So now I think I got can get everything in here. Come on. There you go. There we go. Perfect score. Perfect. Whoa, shit. That plane scared the hell out of me. So this is the a better use of the black key, which I don't have. Binoculars in the cage. 
So let me ask this. Can I... Can I fall short? Like I did before. Ooh, he kind of just bounced off the trailer. So I guess not. So now I'm actually at the end of the trailer. So for an interesting, now that I have parachutes and I didn't waste them all. Oh, <laughs> no, you can only go one screen with those. Okay. Okay, let's see if we... Can I not fall short to get to that? Hmm. I didn't like it when I did it here. Yeah, he just kind of falls and bounces back. So I don't know why... Hmm. Well... Okay, I did that there. Interesting, so now I'm below. Oh, now I bounced and I'm in the lower level. But it won't let me go down to... Oh, that's so weird. Maybe a bomb? Can I bomb this? Let's see. Ah, yes. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and that opened up not the thing I was thinking it was going to open. I need a brick to get out, I think. No? Oh, I could climb out. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Learn to duck under that. Duck sheet is closed. We get. Come on. I let's see if we could do this. No, that didn't quite work. We need to. There we go. Yep, that's what I learned. So, okay, we can't do that. Let's see if we can figure out how to get that key. Whew, that was close. Hilarious. So how the hell can I bomb here? No. Gun. Bricks. Gator Alley is a game, obviously. Hmm. No, that was a mistake. Can we jump short on this one? Uh, we jump short, but not short enough. Let's see if we can uh, jump short the other way. It might be easier here. Close. Close again. Come on. Ah, so close. I don't even know if this is going to work. Probably won't. Ah. Come on, I really want that key. Ah, I did it! Jade key. Okay, it wasn't even a black key. What the? What the? Holy crap, I'm in pitfall. What the? I gotta do that again. There we go. There we go. Damn, I always had problems with scorpions. Try again. Unbelievable. Oops, no. There we go. All right. Come on. I don't want to screw this up again. There we go. <laughs> so, it's like, oh shit. I want to go the other way. Okay, we cleared them again. Okay. And, oh, there we go. Okay, we just kind of... Okay, cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I 
and death. Can I? Do I have anything that can go across? Because if I use the parachute, I'll just fly back. Oh, I gave the truck gas. <laughs> Okay, so that's what the gas is used for. Wow. <laughs> I love this. This is fa this is great. I, if only you could see the smile on my face right now. The chameleon, that's his... We're back at the beginning. Did this loop around? Does he have... Um... Yeah, we did somehow loop around. You may choose to unlock this item with a black key, which I have not seen yet. We have more gas? Yeah. Come on. Oh, there's the black key. There's a bomb and a gold key and... Oh, wow, wow, I love this. 10 out of 10, easy. <laughs> oh, they're back. Okay, let's... Um, let's use Woo! Oh, yeah, let's... Uh, Jade key, black key. A gun. <laughs> Do I still have the black key? No. Oh, so if I used... Oh, okay, so that was why they said... Okay, really have to use the gas again. To... So that's why the, you could only choose to unlock one thing. Okay. Bombs. Can I bomb here? No. More parachutes. Gator Alley opened up. Nice. And there's nothing up ahead. So I think this is the end of the convoy. Oh, this is so fantastic. I don't want to risk it. I, I want to get the Gator Alley. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to use Parachute. Get across. This is such a good game. <laughs> And did our brick wall disappear or is this somewhere different? I don't know, I think our brick wall disappeared. Oh, now we need the parachute again. Hilarious. There's Gator Alley. Let's see what's in. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Gator Alley. It's it's a pitfall, and we're doing this for one. Look at this. Oh look, there's one on the other side now. Oh, I think that was my last life too. Game over. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna call it quits here. Final 15 minutes, 22 of 80. Oh man, how long was I recording for? 42 minutes. Whoo. <laughs> All right, there we go. That is Circus Convoy. And in between setting up the camera again, I went ahead and put a case, a uh, protector around this. Uh, because as I said earlier, I went with the standard version because I just wanted this, you know, just the regular standard version. I didn't want any of the extra stuff. Like there's a super collector's edition or something like that. It came with like a truck and stuff. 
honestly, I really enjoyed the game. Do I regret not getting the collector's edition for a hundred bucks? Uh, not really. I still think I'm I'm good with just the box standard edition. I anyway, I didn't need the gold box. I actually liked the the green box for some reason. I I, I like it better than the gold boxes, which is weird because I really like gold. But I just wanted the standard edition uh, as such, and I really really enjoy this. I like how they kind of tied in the QR codes and everything, so you kind of scan it. What was funny though, I wanted to submit the score that I had, and uh just basically due to the TV my and the camera on my phone, it would not recognize the QR code uh, in their website. So I think if I need to play, if I'm going to play again for a score, I need to either play on the, like the Retron 77, if that even works. I'll get back to you on that. Um, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to set up now just to try it out. It should work in the Retron 77 as far as I understand. I don't know if it mentions here. It just says Sears... Audacity video game cartridge may also be used while in the Sears Telegames video arcade. Doesn't say anything about the Retron 77. But uh, <laughs> but maybe on this TV, too, my, uh, might fare better taking pictures. But um, I'm going to have to do that. Maybe I could actually take a picture of, uh, of the screen and kind of Photoshop it or something like that so I can get it better quality, too. That's always an option, too. But, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, for the 45 minutes or so that I played the game, 10 out of time, exceeded all expectations. When I saw the trailer and I saw there was item management, I was a little bit worried it might be too complicated, but not at all. Everything's kept simple and, and just fun. I like the mini games that I played in here. I like the secrets, the pitfall secrets that are in here. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, again, if you did like the video, if you made it through this far, why not give that a thumbs up button? Uh, that's all I really care about. Um, and I'll catch you all next time.